Hi, I'm Dr. Polly Watson with Harmon Wellness MD. Today we're going to talk about how decreasing inflammation can improve your mood. Recently, I went to an Institute for Functional Medicine meeting and saw a slide that I will include in the resources page that described really clearly to me something that I knew from my clinical experience but maybe didn't have the biochemistry to support. So I want to share that with you today. And what I hope you're going to take away from it is an understanding that we have an opportunity to take a pathway that can go to a neurotoxin from one direction and to serotonin and melatonin in another direction. So serotonin think good mood, melatonin think good sleep. So the state of inflammation in our bodies can help direct this pathway to go one way or another. And what I want to help you do is to understand this really clearly so that you are empowered with this information so that you can make choices that decrease inflammation and help you go towards this restorative pathway rather than a toxic pathway. So let's get started. So most of you are probably familiar with tryptophan. Tryptophan is an amino acid. It, I mean, amino acid is a part of a protein and tryptophan is found in Turkey. Um, so like I was saying earlier, tryptophan can go down a pathway from, to 5-HTP and then to serotonin, which generally makes us feel calm and okay. And then finally to melatonin, which helps uh, set our sleep-wake cycle. In the presence of inflammation, however, tryptophan can be metabolized to something called quinolate, which is a neurotoxin, and so that can have a negative effect on both our mood and our cognition. Interestingly, estrogen blocks the pathway going towards the neurotoxin. So in times when our estrogen is decreasing, we're much more susceptible to the state of inflammation in our bodies. So times in your cycle or in your life when your estrogen would be falling would be as follows. If you're still menstruating, your estrogen drops right before your period. So think PMS and you're feeling low in estrogen and maybe you wanna eat a box of donut holes and maybe you're having significant carbohydrate cravings, but Feeding those cravings is pushing you towards the inflammatory pathway, which is pushing you towards further neurotoxin. A better choice in that situation would be to have a beautiful salad with lots of different color in it to give yourself some antioxidants to remove that inflammation and help send yourself down the pathway towards serotonin and melatonin. Another example with estrogen levels dropping um, would be the menopause transition. And certainly in my own practice, I've seen how much better patients who have a yoga practice and are eating a really clean diet tend to fare along this transition. So what I want you to hear today is that you have a choice and we can help you work together to help identify less inflammatory choices in your life. So very simply, we would be pushing whole foods, fruits and vegetables, uh, fatty fish, exercise, mindfulness practices. All of those things are anti-inflammatory. The stuff that's inflammatory are packaged and processed foods, refined carbohydrates, pizza, donuts, energy drinks full of sugar, not managing your stress well and not exercising. So we have a real opportunity to shift the balance to go from a neurotoxin to feeling more irritable and having more mental problems or to feeling restored, calm and serotonin and then moving on to melatonin and having restorative sleep. I hope this little piece of science has been helpful to reaffirm for you how important lifestyle changes are in maintaining your health and maintaining a clear mind and an open heart. Thanks so much.